You can never be too safe when it comes to the internet. And after I had some recent trolls in my Discord server, it sparked the idea of this video, which will be focused on me sharing the best ways for you to keep your Discord safe and secure from unwanted trolls or spammers. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you give it a like to help spread it to others. And if you enjoy the content, consider subscribing so you can catch up on all my other Discord related content. Lastly, if you enjoy gaming content, I actually do have a separate gaming channel as well as a Twitch channel where I stream all my games. Feel free to check those out in the description. So to start this video off, let's kind of discuss how these trolls were able to join my server and exactly what they did because in order to stop it in the future you need to understand how they did it in the first place so you can set up preventive measures to prevent it so the way that this one happened was one user joined my server and they were able to create an invite because for some reason i didn't have invite creations disabled that's on me but after they created that invite they were able to send it over to their friends and their friends were able to join as well let's just say they were able to spam some pretty unpleasant gifs ceremon or caliber if you're watching you know. Anyways, I want to explain what I did to prevent this in particular issue from happening in the future, as well as give you some other examples of how you can secure your server to prevent yourself from bot rage, trolls, or any of the like. So what I did to stop this was first, I immediately banned the users. Obviously, I perma banned them and deleted every message they had sent in the server. And then after I did that, I immediately came into my server settings and I went to the invites tab and I found the invite that they created and I clicked the X, which revokes that invite. So if someone clicks on the invite link, it will say that the invite is not valid anymore. The way I was able to find this, which is something we'll touch on a little later in the video, was down here in my audit logging channel. I was able to see exactly who created the invite and what invite they created. And I just looked, I cross-referenced that into the invites tab and I revoked the access. Secondly, after doing that, I went into every single role of my server and I removed the ability for those roles to create invites to my server. Now, obviously this isn't a fix all solution as the invite, your main invite to your server, the one that you create and share with your community, that invite's gonna still exist. And you obviously can't get rid of that one because people need to join your server that you actually want to join your server. But it does at least help a little bit to where any random user that joins your server, someone that joins with an incentive to troll your server, they can't join and just create an invite and instantly send it to their friends for all their friends to join immediately. Secondly, I also use Me6's leveling feature, which awards users XP based on chatting and allows them to level up and gain new levels. Upon leveling up, I have it set up to where they receive special roles. So for example, when they hit level one, they get the member role, level five, they get a new role, 10, 20, so on and so forth. So to prevent new users from joining and instantly sending images or GIFs that might be obscure, I simply made it to where you aren't able to, users aren't able to to send images unless they have the level five role or more. Level five, at least the way I have it set up through Me6, doesn't take too long to deter your regular members from having to spend too much time in your server just to be able to send images or GIFs but I feel like it is high enough of a level to make it to where new users don't wanna sit there and chat just to level up to level five so they can get the role to be able to send images and GIFs. Trolls are impatient. If they wanna troll your server, they wanna be able to do it right then and there. They don't wanna to have to spend time being active in your community to be able to do that. There's tons of different XP level system bots out there, but I might do a dedicated video on this topic one day. So if you wanna see that, definitely let me know down in the comments. Another helpful tip that you might not know about when it comes to bans in your server, server is that when you actually ban a user, Discord doesn't only issue a ban on the user's account, it issues a ban on their IP address. This is super helpful to prevent extreme trolls that might try to simply just create a new account and join on a new account since their previous account got banned. The only thing to keep in mind with the IP ban is there is a tiny way around it if the user does have a VPN set up, but honestly, you shouldn't really have users trying to do this to you. To end off this video, we're gonna do a little bit of a rapid fire session with some quick features that you can set up that aren't necessarily huge features, but when you compile all of them together, it definitely makes your server a more secure place. First up is Discord's built-in moderation feature. If you don't know what this is, simply come up to your server settings at the top left. You should see a moderation tab. You can click on that, and if I disable my streamer mode, 
then you should see something a little bit like this. Now, if you have your server set up as a community server, you're not going to be able to use no moderation. You're gonna to have to at least use low, but even if you aren't set up as a community server and you're on none for moderation, definitely at least put it on low so that way users have to have a verified email on their Discord account. It's just a good safe measure to take. And depending on any kind of issues you might be having in your server, you can go medium, high, or even highest to where users have to have a verified phone on their Discord account. Next up is something to help prevent spammers from ping, mass pinging your server. Uh, you want to disable the permission for users to at everyone in your server, which sends out a notification to everyone in your server. To do this, simply come up to your server settings once again, you're going to go to roles, you're going to go to your default permissions for at everyone, and you're going to make sure that you scroll down to where it says mention at everyone and at here in all roles you want to turn that permission off now you also want to go through to every one of your servers because you might have a role in here that has that permission on so make sure you go through and check all your roles that that permission is not turned on for any of them next up is to get some kind of bot that has some auto moderation features pretty much every single moderation bot out there all the popular ones like me six carl bot dino bot anything out there is going to have some sort of auto moderation features for me six you can simply come into the moderator section and you can scroll down to the auto moderator and you can make it to where it deletes or warns users if they use bad words if they send server invites if they send links an anti-spam anything like that it's really easy to set up and pretty much any bot can do it if you do have a bigger server something that you can do is with your moderators is try to get some moderators that are in multiple different time zones this is really helpful for if a troll somehow does make it through the server if it's in the middle of the night for you at 3 a.m if you have a moderator that's in a time zone 10 hours ahead of you it's going to be the middle of the day for them. They're going to be able to look after your server for you and get rid of this unwanted member before they're able to do anything harmful to your server. Probably a self-explanatory tip, but it helps a lot. Lastly is to keep an eye on your audit log. Discord actually has a built-in audit log up here. If you go to your server settings, you can go to audit log and the audit log will show you a list of every single event that's happening in your server, such as users deleting messages, users updating their nickname, users creating invites, creating channels, anything like that it's going to show you in here while the built-in discord audit logging is good i do recommend using a bot to set up an actual audit logging channel in your server where you can have a lot more details sent into your audit log channel than what discord's built-in feature is going to show you this is actually how i was able to find the user that created the invite and delete that invite very quickly with all that being said i think that brings us to the end of the video if there's anything you guys feel like I left out, make sure you drop it in the server, share the ways that you secure your server, and maybe someone will be able to find that useful and add it into their server. And you might find something from another user that you think is useful to add to your server. Remember, sharing is caring. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.